Okay, good morning. Um, this is going to be the start of week four, and we have a start of our new unit. It's called Causes of Change. And if we take a look at what we've done this semester, our first one was describing motion. And we took a look at using terms like acceleration, speeding up, slowing down, constant speed, and what types of things took, case, took place in that. Then we took a look at causes of motion. And we took a look at forces acting on them. Um, that was the unit we just got done with. And now we're doing causes of change. And it is the uh, movement or storage of energy. Uh, for the most part, the law of conservation of energy. On, on the new day by day, I just want to point out some things across the top. I have some videos to help you when we get to those things. Um, then we have types of storage. Uh, these are the types of storages that we'll go through. Kinetic, thermal, elastic, gravitational, um, chemical, or, and internal or dissipated. I'm not going to hide these from you. Uh, these are going to be things that, as we go, will become more ingrained, and I will talk about them as we go. The um, one thing that's going to be hard about this chapter is it is a qualitative look at energy, which means that we should be seeing trends as the energy is going up in this case or going down in that case. Um, and we use things like bar charts and pie graphs and it's it's not precise numbers um, and we have to kind of fudge that because I can't have you making pie charts there's no real good way of making pie charts on a worksheet so we're going to be doing things like data tables uh, to hopefully try showing that trend as we go uh, I'm still doing some research on trying to figure out how to make it work, but we'll we'll do the best we can. Uh, I have the test in from the last unit. They're in the grade book. Uh, everything that's been turned in as of uh, this is Sunday at about 10 o'clock in the morning, if you um, are, are wondering. Um, I have everything up to date. And once again, if you have questions, please contact me. I have a Zoom meeting every morning at 9.30. You can email me, uh, parents and students and guardians, everybody. Um, don't be afraid to contact me. If I can do anything more, uh, let me know. If I'm wh whatever, don't be afraid to give me some in input on what it is that I need to do. So this is kind of the start of the unit. So have a great, uh, great rest of the weekend or day, depending upon when you watch this.